Well, boys, what did we learn this weekend in college basketball? Well, I'll tell you. Not a lot, actually. Um, things are kind of more the same this weekend. Um, and, um, you know, it was just a great weekend of college basketball. Um, man, let me tell you, first off, you know, um, yesterday, you know, what, what happened, um, again, I won't go into too much detail again, but we all know what happened yesterday, and it really kind of derailed uh, me watching college basketball yesterday, of course, um, and let's just go over these scores real quick, you know, um, Oregon still, you know, putting in work there. They nearly score 100 on UCLA. Uh, San Diego State, you know, we thought, you know, that they'd lose at some point. But, you know, now they're still undefeated. They beat UNLV 71-67. Uh, Michigan State pretty much dominated Minnesota the entire game. So, um, you know, it was just kind of, uh, but um, uh, a good game early. Um that I did happen to watch early on in the day, Maryland and Indiana. Man, that was a great game, let me tell you. Uh, just absolutely fun to watch. Both teams were making a lot of shots, and it just came down to the very, very end. Uh, but unfortunately, Maryland wins again against Indiana, so they even, so Maryland's got the edge over Indiana in that category. Uh oh. And the Big Big Ten's looking real good right now. Ohio State bounced back finally after losing like six of their last eight or something like that. They beat Northwestern last night. Um, as far as the other teams go, you know, same old, same old with Gonzaga. Um, just easily dispatching Pacific 92-59. Um, Colorado wins, Wichita State wins. But then, you know... Um, Florida State, who's been kind of under my radar, um, probably going to, you know, watch a couple of their games at some point uh, during the season, because um, we're getting down, we're getting close to the end, um, you know, Florida State beats Notre Dame by one, update, <laughs> somehow number seven in the country, um, they, they beat Richmond, um, then, uh, I mean, hey, look at that. Rutgers is ranked, y'all. Rutgers was probably going to the tournament. Um, so they be, beat Nebraska 75-72. Uh, um, Louisville easily beats Clemson 80-62. Uh, Villanova barely scraped by Providence. I saw that game yesterday as well. Barely scraped by. Uh, it was a good game, real defensive type game. And it was just a fun ride, man, let me tell you. Um, Illinois is somehow still in the mix of things, you know. But, um, yeah, they, they, they had to come back. I, I beat Michigan. So, um, you know, it was it was all good and stuff. But, um, yeah, the main dish that we got on Saturday it was the Big 12 SEC Challenge. And it ended up being a tie. Uh, but let's go over the main games real quick because, um, yeah, um, at least involved with the ranked teams anyway. Um, first off, um, the game that came in as it was progressing, it was tied at halftime. Then West Virginia's defense put on the clamps on Missouri. Just absolutely destroyed them 74-51. Um, Auburn wins a close game with Iowa State. As far as the Longhorns go, it's another disappointment, you know. Yeah, LSU basically dominated the game, and then they let up a little bit, barely up to LSU fans, you know, Will Wade and stuff, you know, those guys out there in Baton Rouge, you know, that's a good team out there, and let me tell you, oh, it still stings, you know, kind of, we're kind of just, as a Texas fan, we're just kind of just waiting for the season to end, you know, because it's, it's, it's about that time to fire shots, smart, it's about that time. Uh, Kansas survives Tennessee. Now, Tennessee's been a team that's kind of uh, on the radar for me, so uh, um, kind of match up for me. Um, uh, Kentucky, Texas Tech. Um, Kentucky wins by two points. Um, what you say, it was a battle. 
to the very, very end, man. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see this game, so, um, yeah. And then the final game here that really needs to be mentioned is the number one team, Baylor, taking the hair of Florida. Um, Baylor, Gonzaga, San Diego State, um, Florida State, um, you know, those are teams that are looking like, hey, this is some good. This is some good quality basketball. In, in the year of you know just a weird time as we go in college basketball, you know it's like wow, wow. Let me tell you, man. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. <sighs> yeah, remember when I roasted North Carolina last week in the description of my video? Well, they finally got a big. Well, they finally got some victories under their belt. Um, in ACC play, um, as far as the standings go, let me take a look here. Let's see, um, nope, that is not. It. Yeah, they're 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 not last anymore. They got a couple of victories in non-conference in, in conference play. Um, they're still near the bottom though of the um, of the ACC, and they're nine and ten this year. So um, North Carolina's fallen off pretty hard, uh, but. You know, um, at the top, it's pretty top heavy. Um, I'm not sure Duke even played this weekend. Um, I, I, it didn't tell me to, uh, Duke to score at all. But Louisville, Florida State, and Duke, those are probably going to be your best bets in the ACC. Of course, there's going to be some other teams in there as well. Um, and, and of course, you know, uh, other conferences will get to down the line. The Bubble Watch. Um, um, keeping up with that, that's going to be a thing starting in February, um, just to get more videos out because um, I don't know what's going to happen, um, you know, because it's probably going to be like maybe like four, four to six videos each week starting in February now, because um, once once the NFL season ends on, on Sunday, um, it's going to be crazy, man, because we got XFL, we got indoor football, we got basketball, all over the place, um, but yeah, so this week in college basketball really didn't tell me much, it told me that the Big 12 and the ACC are basically kind of on equal terms at this point, uh, Big 12 is a lot weaker this year to be completely honest with you, um, yeah, there's still some heavy hitters like Baylor, West Virginia, and Kansas, but you know, the SEC still has Kentucky and some stalwarts like Florida that could contend. Uh, LSU, they can, they can, they can do something. They can do some damage. Auburn's still there, you know, despite having lost twice last week. Um, so all of that's good stuff, man. Um, and as far as you know, like other things go, I'd say, um, it, you know, teams that are teams that are not looking too good they're, they're getting a little bit better um, like North Carolina or Ohio State they're getting a little bit better, they're getting victories that they need to get in order to, you know, improve themselves in, during the season so, um, that's gonna do it for this video everyone and, um, well we're gonna push off the Super Bowl preview and we're gonna do it um, we're gonna do it Wednesday Wednesday night, you know, just so we can get everything prepared and everything like that. Um, so, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, you guys, and y'all take care. Um, Mama mentality, you know, um, Rip Kobe, and again, um, you know, man, we, there's not much more to say, man. Um, so, yeah, see y'all in the next video.